Well, there's Lincoln. He's ready to go to work today. And we have four horses in the trailer. We'll get them unloaded and clean out this pasture. There's cows in here that need to be moved. We had opened the, the gate a few days ago and not all of them have moved through to the fresh pasture. So we're gonna clean that out. And I brought two horses, Henson brought two horses. It's still very warm out here. I think it's gonna be 70 degrees today. Nice warm day. And I am wearing my short sleeve shirt so everybody can check out my chiggy arms. Just wanted to get some last minute fall sun since it was a nice day um, and wanted y'all to check out my cool shirt this says Hunagahni and that is my clan in Navajo some of you were asking about that anyway I am Hunagahni and Shleh Vilagana Bashishchin and I think one of these days I will do an introduction video whenever I get a chance. But for now, that's what I am. <laughs> um, Navajos have a clan system and it identifies who you are as a person and in, in the Navajo culture. So I picked this shirt up from um, the green shirt designs on Facebook. I think I told you about them before. Um, go check out their page. I'll put the link in the description. And somebody had asked about um mounting your horse and having them stand still so i'm gonna have henson do that today because he brought two young horses and they still need some work on mounting so as soon as he's ready we're gonna have him show us how he does that with the young ones This horse is Bree, if you guys remember, we um, got her, uh, I don't know how long, a month ago, two months ago? We picked her up a couple months ago, I think in the beginning of October, maybe? Something. Anyway, she is here for her 90-day start, and she's really coming along. She belongs to my friend Tammy. Tammy, there's your beautiful horse. Um, so she has, I don't know, 30, 40 rides, something like that. And this is Blue Sand. She is a Jay Hart that was raised here on the ranch. And my other friend, Leah, purchased her. And she is finishing her 90-day start here, too. Which one has more rides? This one or? Three. Okay. Sarl has more rides than this one. So to have a horse stand still as you're getting on, uh, pretty simple. But a lot of people just let their horses walk off when they're getting on. Um, I like them to stand still and to leave when I want them to leave. So this is how I get them to do it. Yeah, I'll just, just step up in the stirrup. 
and some horses would be already maybe walking off right now. And I just hop along with them until they stop. So I just, I mean, she probably won't go nowhere <laughs> because I. He already taught her that. That was like a yeah, basic. This is pretty much the first day I teach them just to stand there when I get on and off of them. Yeah, just stand there. So, and if they start walking off, so some of them will, will be walking off. If she walked off, I just tip back down and pull her back to me. Now do it again. And if she walked off, I just get back down. Eventually, she would just stand there. And I maybe would just stand up here. Maybe get back down. And then you could go to the other side and do the same side. Cause I do that. I just get on the other side up and down. And that teaches them to just to stand still. So, um, well, some will even. Dibs kind of does it. So I get on her. And she starts kind of walking off. Um, but when you get on and they start walking off, just all you gotta do is, you know, get them to stop and stand there and rub them and don't go nowhere till you say go somewhere. So I won't go nowhere, or she probably won't go nowhere because I haven't asked her to. But just repetition. But yeah, so if, and also if you just keep doing it, getting up and down, and they just keep walking and walking, this is maybe what I do. So you can even just get on like this, stand there, get off. And that'll teach your horse just that it doesn't have to go nowhere. But if a horse was just bad about it, I'd let her just walk around. I'd make her go. So I'll just make her go. I'd say, all right, you want to go? I'll just let her go in a couple of circles. And ask her to stand there and then try it again and if same thing she didn't want to have jasper to go around again and eventually she's going to be like well it's easier just to stand there and they'll figure that out but it'll just be repetition and i start them when they're young to do that so when they get older they they know to stand still okay so she <laughs> probably wasn't the best example to show you maybe we'll try uh -huh. Bree a little bit later and see what yeah, right. she does she, and she might walk i don't know none of them really walk off if there's one that does it's going to be dibs it's going to be dibs because she's a little more high energy and she's like yeah, yeah let's go let's go work. So i just pull her you know i just stop her and say hey we're not going yet make her stand still then then when i want to go i let her walk off okay well let's go get some cows I don't know how you can wear a sweater. It's hot. It's hot today. That's what Rob Deerdick does. So. <laughs> Rob Deerdick. Yeah. He's a pretty cool guy. Always wears a sweater. Look him up. Rob Deerdick. He has he that is show. In California. And it's hot in California. <laughs> I think where he lives. I yeah. I'll go to California. He does that show, uh, Ridiculousness. That's like one of Henson's all-time favorite shows. Anyway, okay. We're going to go get some cows. I'm going to get a drink of water. Quick. Henson and Lincoln. Lincoln always would rather be with Henson than me. <laughs> okay. We've gone about a mile and a half and came up on our first group of cows. Not sure where Henson went, but I'm just gonna kind of push these guys toward the middle and keep riding to the back of this pasture. We'll probably bring them all right up the middle and, and meet up somewhere. There they go. We still probably have another maybe almost a mile to the back. You see the highway right there. Well, we're at the back of the pasture now. I don't see anything along this fence line. So we'll start making our way toward the center back. Dib's got a 
pretty good sweat going. We'll see if we can find Henson somewhere. Well, I'm out here, rainbow tank, just cowboying, gathering up some cattle. We're gonna move them to the next pasture over. I'm just riding through all them cedars. Down there's rainbow tank. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe. But there's some cows heading that way. There's some cows down. Yonder. Some over in those hills. So yeah, just living the dream. You might say, well, what's the dream? Well, riding horses, cowboying, pushing cattle, and working for my mom. I mean, that's, that's the best part right there. Cowboy for your mom. So yeah, I'll sh I'll show you some of the the ride today. We'll push these cows' rainbow tank right here. Push them up to number two, and then from number two we're gonna go to number three. But I might just take them all the way to the to the pin. I might wean off some of these calves. We'll see. There's Henson, center of the screen right there. And there's one of our dirt tanks where everything is at right now. So we're gonna meet up here and push everything up the hill. Everything is on the move now, except her. I went and checked uh, back that way over the hill, see if there's any cows while I was doing that. Danielle was already over here at Rainbow Tank. I got to Rainbow Tank before I did. Started pushing these cows. Up to number two. You guys seen Rainbow Tank before? That's the uh, the dirt tank that Monster and I were uh, playing in. See, there's Danielle getting those cattle going. So we'll push him up to another water, number two. There'll probably be some cows over there because we pushed, we started pushing some that way. And most of the time, they just keep on going. Once we kind of get them started, they just keep going. They kind of know that we're going to another pasture. And of course, Lincoln's riding along with me. Check out all that water. Quite a bit of water in there. Wonder if my horse is thirsty. Hey, sick drink. <laughs> yeah, she was thirsty. Lincoln's thirsty. Blue sands, thirsty dibs, kind of. She should be, she's sweating. Not a fan of this yeah, dibs wasn't raised out in the pasture. She don't drink out of dirt tanks. She's kind of spoiled. This horse was raised out on the ranch. So she knows how to drink the groundwater. Dibs, no. She only drinks uh, Avion or whatever that fancy bottle of water is called. Avion, I don't know. I drink tap water. 
straight from the tap. See, those cows are already going. They know where to go. We're almost up to number two tank. Number two is up on top of the hill. That's where uh, we pump the water to from the well. And then from number two, it runs. Uh, it runs to a few other tanks. It runs to the the center. So all all gravity flows from this tank up here on the hill. I just got up here at number two tank. Let my horse drink a little bit. But all these cows are in a pretty good herd. We'll head over that way towards the truck. Put them in to number three. There's a good, good group of cows. I doubt we caught them all or gathered them all up. I'll probably have to come out and check the pasture again. There's a lot of cedar trees in this pasture. And it was just me and Danielle. This is actually the biggest pasture that uh, we have on this north side. That's a little, little tougher to gather. Not bad, but takes a little more time all right there's the gate they're all starting to funnel through there there's the truck and the other horses we're gonna switch out here after these guys all go through the gate So we're back at the trailer. We're gonna swap horses, get a drink. I got me a, a snack, some water, and I checked my watch. That was about a seven mile ride for Dibs and I. Not sure quite how far they went, but maybe around the same Probably 10, he said. Well, we're not quite done. We pushed the cows through the gate and we're gonna push them all the way down the hill to the corrals that they're gonna be watering at um, in this pasture. So, not quite done. We're getting there. It's um, afternoon time. I'm gonna have to pick up the kids soon. Maybe I'll have grandma do that. I'll have to call her. We'll see how um, Bree does at mounting. We'll video her too, okay? Dude, you're eating my snack. That was my snack I brought for myself. You put it on my seat. I thought <laughs> you were like giving it to me. <laughs> Fine. Why did you leave it on my seat? Because I was going to grab it after I finished mine. Okay. My first one. <laughs> Just kidding. I put it there for you. I brought it there for you because I'm very nice. Very good wife.
He's really working. Lincoln's down in the little wash getting those guys out <laughs> barking and everything good boy Lincoln good boy <laughs> here's that scary fence since I'm fixed still holding up we haven't got much rain after the monsoon season. So that's good. Well, not the no rain, but the, that the fence is still up. We're almost to the corral. Just right over there. Coming up on another one of Henson's scary fences. We'll see if it held up. Oh, I need to redo it. Okay, we've got everything in the corral. There's some horses back there. And Zara's pretty excited about that. He wants to check out those ladies. Okay, it's time to separate. I'm letting the cows go by me. And then the calves will come into the alley where I'm standing. And then we'll separate them too. Okay, time to separate the steers from the heifers. And the last one is a steer. He'll go over here to my right. Okay, leaving the corrals now. All the cows are know where their water is. We have heifers and steers separated and locked up. And what's the plan with those guys? Um, we're gonna send the steers to the sale. And the heifers, he's gonna wean off and we'll just put them in a different pasture with some others that we already weaned off. <laughs> Oh, back to the trailer. 
And Dibs is excited to see us. Yeah, I'm excited to get a drink of water. Hi, Dipsy. Did you miss us? The blue sand is over there. Not even making a fuss. Well, I guess that's it, guys. One jumped, yours didn't. <laughs> Making your horse bomb proof, Tammy.